to have an idea in your mind when you have no control over anything else, just being able to touch a material and think of something and try to make it. And that is a real, it's a real pleasure. When it became evident that this virus was going to have a significant impact, it meant that I would have to shift significantly how I work. And I knew that I wanted to spend a portion of that time being selfish and enjoying the isolation in a way. My studio is a second home. It has all of the things that excite my imagination. But the other part it felt like I would have to also maybe try to f figure out how I could be of service. And, I, and the service part was a little bit more complicated. A big part of my artistic practice is using abandoned buildings to create cultural spaces on the south side primarily. I have a space called the Stony Island Arts Bank. We've had to close it. I never thought that the best thing I could do for people is stay away from them. It's such a strange notion. There are moments when I feel like I'm not exactly sure what I can contribute. I don't feel like an artist whose practice could lift the heavy veil of this moment. I don't feel like an activist. I really want to feel like a neighbor. That in this moment, it feels like it's everyone's duty to be kind, to be generous. In the moment when I didn't know what to do, I would call my friend Jared Friedman, who happened to be the creative director of this company, Citizens of Humanity. And he said, hey man, we're gonna stop making jeans and we're gonna make these masks. And I was like, I want in. And it felt like I could function as a kind of conduit from this fashion company that was willing to make masks to, to my city. They had so many cool materials around. Uh, they ended up making these out of a kind of camo motif. And uh, obviously it's the one that I like a lot. We will direct 1,000 masks to the Chicago Food Depository because it felt like those workers and those in need of a meal could both benefit pretty quickly. It's clear to me that it actually requires times of crisis for the everyday person to also recognize that they're extremely creative and resilient. They're actually not far from the uh, solutions. It's just that life has been so comfortable that we actually don't have to worry about solutions often. But I think in this case, more and more people will find themselves functioning as artists and creatives. When I think about what culture might look like at the end of this, I think it's gonna be less about market-driven things and more about creative people who want to get together in their living room or get together in the basement and spend time together. I think that I'm just going to be able to be present more in Chicago and present with the people who I love. And I'm going to try to focus my resources, which are really space and a big smile. I'm going to try to focus those resources on the people who I care about and try to do as much as I can locally.